first off, this is an Attack on Titan manga review. If you watch the anime and do not read the manga, please steer clear. And second off, this is not going to be a complete chapter review because so many people complain about spoilers, even when I warned them at the beginning of the video. I'm going to wait until the anime is done temporarily because we all know it's going to go to uh, episode 25, or rather episode 25 and a half. So um, I'm going to pick up the manga then, so you probably won't see me uh, review or talk about the manga that much, but this chapter, I have to point out a few things. But before I do that, let me say that Erwin is just a boss. He's a fucking boss. And second, when Mikasa got grabbed, and at the end, when she couldn't get up because of that grab, do you think that damaged her internally? Do you think that means that we're about to get the death of Mikasa? I would hate that. But I really want to talk about, if you read this chapter, you know exactly what it is before I even say it. The Titan that ate Eren's mom appears out of nowhere. This is what puzzles me. This Titan has shown up twice, twice now, when Eren and Mikasa were helpless. The first time, you know, they were children, they haven't gone through any training, and now Eren's hands are tied behind his back, and Mikasa is just hurting from that Titan grab from earlier. Is this a coincidence? Is that another human inside of a Titan? If so, I'm wondering who that could be because I don't really, I can't think of anyone who actually resembles that Titan. But Aaron, if he gets his hands loose, he is going to fuck that Titan up. Do you think it's just some random Titan that just happens to be there? Do you think it's a human in Titan form? If so, who do you think it is? Because I'm completely stumped. The problem with the two at the end basically is that Mikasa is too hurt to move and Aaron has his hands tied behind his back. But since the shapeshifters transform into Titans by, you know, inflicting self-injury, maybe he he doesn't have to bite his hand where he usually bites himself at. Maybe he can bite his tongue, bite his lips, and still, you know, be able to transform into a Titan. But what I really, really want to see, I really want to see the anger in him boil up and him just have flashbacks of that day just looking into that Titan's eyes. And I just want him to transform right then and there without having to bite himself, without having to hurt himself, just let his animal instincts take over or something else take over and him just transform right then and there. That would be so fucking awesome. I'm pretty sure if he can transform, he'll fuck that Titan up. I mean, it doesn't look like that much of a threat unless it is a human in, uh, in Titan form and they have a tendency to have these outrageous, uh, you know, special things about them, like Annie, remember, she can make almost any part of her body hardened and crystal-like, you know, with, like that, so if that is a human in that Titan body, then who knows what it can do, but if it's just a, a normal Titan, Eren's gonna fuck it up, Eren's gonna stomp his head in, Eren is gonna turn that into a fucking Titan patty, but the thing I'm fearing the most is Mikasa may not be able to survive this, because, I mean, she got crushed by a Titan from right here, pretty much down to her hips. There's a lot of organs in between there so I mean her ribs could have broken and been pointing inward or that could be some type of internal damage but I'm really hoping that Mikasa is not out for the count on this one I really hope this doesn't fuck her up too bad because being crushed by something as big as that that's bound to fuck up something on the inside you know I was talking to a friend about this I said at the end of the series I hope that Eren finally confronts that Titan from that day. And though granted, I don't think this is anywhere near the end of the series. At least it's happening. I think Eren is going to fuck that Titan up. I just want I just want that Titan to suffer. Because, you know, even though that scene actually got me into Attack on Titan. Just because of how dramatic it is. And how, you know, how much it made you connect with Eren on the very first episode. I want Eren to fuck him up. I want Eren to fucking kick his head a mile away. Watch it grow back, and then kick it away again. Yeah, like I said, I probably won't do any type of discussions or reviews for the Attack on Titan slash Shingeki no Kyojin manga until episode 25.5 comes out because I'm pretty sure after that everyone's going to want to know what happens next because if you read the manga you kind of guess where that episode is going to leave off so I mean people are going to want to know what happens next and they're going to start reading the manga then I can review it without anyone you know fucking cussing me out or anything because I value your your opinions more than I value my views so that's why I stopped doing the Attack on Titan mangas I'm not sure if I told you guys this before so here's just so you know and what do you think is gonna happen do you think Eren is gonna bite his lip do you think Mikasa can make it to him in time I personally want to see Eren just transform just out of pure hate and pure anger and just fuck that Titan up is it a coincidence that this Titan has popped up twice now when Eren and Mikasa are helpless because as we have seen nothing really happens it just as a coincidence in this anime slash manga. So tell me what you guys think. This is Majebi Lachia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.